Hello, it's me again. I'm Johnny Duddle and I write stories and draw pictures and I'm going to try and do another Doodle with Duddle but this time it's going to be a Triceratops. Um, so it's the Triceratops called Finn from my book Gigantosaurus. Now in the book I kind of imagine Finn was a girl but anyone who's read the book might have noticed that when Finn meets her dad, this is her dad, He's a much bigger Triceratops. You can see the Triceratops here, and this is Finn. She says, hello, Dad. And he says, hello, son. And that's, I only noticed that when the book arrived back from the printers, when it came all the way back, it was printed in China. It came all the way back from China. It ended up in my house in Wales, and I read through the book, and I thought, oh no, that was supposed to be a girl, and it says, hello, son. But then I thought it doesn't really matter, but I think because I wrote, hello, Finn, that when it was printed, it was changed at some point, and it was I, I didn't notice until it arrived back as a book. But in the TV series, if you've read the book and then watched the TV series, you might notice that Finn is actually called Tiny, which confuses me because in the book, Diplodocus here is called Tiny, whereas in the TV series, he's called Bill. So I'm going to draw. I've also got a bit of a cold at the moment, so we have a sort of huff and puff a bit. Just ignore that. I'm going to draw Finn. We're going to start off with the head. I think the first thing I'll do, i said before, heads are more fun. The first thing we'll do is this beak and the eyes. So we'll start off with this funny little beak that um, Finn has. Or maybe I'll draw the eye first. I'm going to draw a big eye first. So we'll do a circle. Easiest bit first. Doesn't matter if it's not round, so that makes it even easier. Maybe a couple of little wrinkles underneath and a great big pupil in the middle. Make it even bigger if you like, with a little dot of light reflecting on the pupil and an iris around the outside. And then she needs a little beak. So, if the there's, it's made up of a few curves. I'm going to draw them very lightly. This curve, it's like a bit like a a bit like a sort of slightly squished S look. And then you want another one, kind of a bit like the same kind of. but not quite as curvy, you go into there and it's a point, then you get like a little point. And I'll press a bit harder in a minute. And then there's another one here, which again is a similar shape. Now we can press a little bit harder, she's got a couple of little wrinkles on her nose. And there's a pointy beak. Then her other eye, should we have it? I was going to draw her holding a bow and arrow, which is going to make this quite tricky, even trickier than so I drew a, a parasol phosphorus holding an egg, and this one's going to be even trickier, but it might even go wrong for me. But because she's looking at a bow and arrow, maybe she's squinting, like when you try and fire a bow and arrow, you try and shut one eye, which I know is pretty tricky to do to shut one eye. But we can have that eye kind of squinting, look, that's, that's an eye, if you can tell. Maybe it'd be more obvious when I've finished, or you might just think she's got one eye, like a pirate dinosaur. So that's her eye her squinty eye and her beak. And then we need to draw her other horns. So Triceratopses, I don't know whether they're just called Triceratopses or Triceratops, are called Triceratops because they have three horns. A bit like a tricycle has three wheels or a triangle has three points or a trilogy has is a story that's over three books. That's what the tri bit means, it means three. So, actually, you know what? I've just noticed she hasn't got a horn on her nose. If you look at this, yeah, he's got a horn on his nose. And then these two, that's why he's got three horns. And um, Finn hasn't got three horns. Maybe we'll keep that one secret. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Anyway, I'll draw the two other horns. Maybe when they're babies, they don't have three horns. A bit like a rhino. I don't think rhinos have three horns. Well, no, they don't have three horns, but I think their horn, when they're a baby, is like a, more like a bump than a horn. Right. Hmm, let's ignore that. I'll draw the other horns. So if you kind of very lightly draw two circles above her eyes, very lightly, and then I'm going to draw some points sticking up from those circles like that. Look, there's a point, and here's another one. They could be slightly different sizes, doesn't matter if they're different sizes. Maybe they could be really different sizes. I'm not sure if that ever happened. So there's our two other horns. And then we've got to draw her big frill, her big sort of fin, that, that's why I call it a fin, you see, that goes round her head. 
So I'm going to draw that quite lightly to make sure I get the shape. It's like big and round. There, I'm just drawing it lightly to make sure it all fits on. You might not even be able to see that I've drawn it so lightly. I can't really tell. And yet they have little horns going all around them. Not really horns, um, kind of, I don't know, ridges, pointy things. I know all the proper terms for these dinosaur stuff. There. Well, you can just do it without these on. You could just do it kind of just completely round or just a bit wobbly like that. There, look, that's her. You could maybe draw a few scales. And that's kind of a head. And then we need to draw a body, but I'm going to be, actually the bottom, the, the beak also has a bottom bit like this. It's a bit like a parrot's beak, I suppose. Maybe you could shade that a little bit and then do a much darker bit here because that's the inside of her mouth. Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause it and rewind it and try and draw those bits. You can go look at it again how I draw it, sort of go through very slowly and see which bits I draw first. Now I'm going to draw her body really lightly just to work out where it's going to go because then I've got to draw his ar her arms holding the bow and arrow in front of her body. So I'm going to draw really lightly. This, again, it's a really good thing to practice doing is drawing very lightly. She's got a much smaller body than the other dinosaurs we've drawn. Goes down to a tail. Maybe she can be almost a tail can be almost on the floor. So there's a nice shadow for the floor. Look, that's kind of much lighter because the bow and arrow is going to be a bit hard to do. She has a leg here. Joining the body. Little wrinkles where it joins the body and a wrinkly knee. And the other leg behind there with a the shadow. And then we're going to try and draw the bow and arrow, which is the really tricky bit. So when you hold a bow and arrow, you hold one arm, maybe sort of straight out from your body, holding it nice and holding the bow and arrow nice and tight. So kind of a rounded square. The thumb is this shape. It's a bit like a sausage that's curled. Three more sausages, because I've only got three fingers on these dinosaurs, with little wrinkles where the knuckles will be. And then we can draw the bow. Bending, because they're pulling the arrow back. In the other hand, very lightly draw a kind of tr roundy triangle. And this finger is going like that. And these two fingers go like that. And then curve like this. Lots of little wrinkles. Maybe if you slow that down and draw it, and then the thumb's kind of holding here, and that's holding the strings that go to here, look. Some big lines where it ties to the stick. And I'm doing this quite fast. I, I really, I've said before, but if you, if you get stuck, just slow it down. Here's the arrow. And it's just a twig, really, that's been sharpened into a point. And some feathers. Draw a bit darker now where I did those. Maybe like with the leg, do a little shadow here. And there's some ridges on her back. And then a bit like the other dinosaur, she's got a light bit down her tummy. And you can do some curves and then start drawing some scales in. shadow on the floor. Maybe a rock like we had on the first drawing with a bit of grass or a flower. Don't know what prehistoric flowers were like. 
there we are. That's kind of fin done, I think. Have I pressed hard enough in these? Can you see that all right? So again, if you get a bit stuck, or it goes wrong, start the drawing again. Just draw it again. You get another piece of paper and draw it again. You can see these. This is my sketchbook when I was drawing Finn. I've shown you these for the other dinosaurs. This one, you can see, look, her head originally, her head was very, very high. It looked like she had a really big forehead. And it was quite a chubby little body. Wasn't sure about that one. So I drew it drew sitting on a tree, thinking about it. This one, she was kind of looking at a flower, looking quite, sort of quite happy and smiley. And then this one, she looked a bit unsure again. And this one, she's just holding a stick. But I kind of like the shape of this one. Um, but I kept drawing her until I got her how I wanted her, which was like this. So try and draw a tiny or a fin whether you watch the TV or the book, and if you draw one you really like, please post it on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, and I'll try and cobble together a collage. Thank you. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to try and draw Bonehead next.